What happens if you use Coca-Cola to liquid cool your computer? Well, for starters, you would need around half a liter of the soda pop itself in order to flow from the reservoir to the radiator and through the heatsink. And the first thing you might notice after doing so is that carbonation is literally everywhere, throughout every tube, especially the reservoir itself. Check out all these bubbles. But surprisingly, after just five minutes, you'll notice that that carbonation starts to subside. But as they say, you're out of the frying pan into the fire because you might notice a leak in your water cooling with Coca-Cola spilling everywhere. So after touching that up and cleaning up the mess, you might now notice that your CPU's temperature measured in this top left line graph is being kept at around 30 degrees Celsius with the Coca-Cola. That's equally as effective as using normal mineral water inside of this liquid cooling loop. But then you might think it's a fluke, so you'll put the CPU under load and notice that it doesn't even top out at the highest temperature possible. 74 degrees under load is a totally respectable temperature for your CPU to be at. But then, of course, remember that pop is acidic and will likely break down the internal mechanisms of the motor over time. In the short term, it works like a charm. 